Who's ready to get crafting and inspired with our window pane? I just have a Dollar Tree wreath, right? I have some moss, enough. And then no matter, so it depends on if you have something like this in script. So Walmart actually had this wood script that says home. I was looking for a metal script that actually said blessed, but I couldn't find one. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to improvise with this because I think it's going to be awesome. And then I have some of black and white gingham check ribbon. So this is a 50-yard roll. I just took this off the shelf out of the warehouse. This wreath, this Dollar Tree wreath, so a whole buck, right? And I'm going to add some glue to it. And this is why I wanted to do it on the cardboard. And we're going to add some moss to our wreath form. All right, so now our little home is gonna sit really awesome on there. So we're gonna attach that. And so I'm gonna use my staple gun. So I'm going to take a brown chenille stem or um, pipe cleaner. I call them pipe cleaner chenille stems. And I'm going to staple that. Now, guys, these are quarter inch staples. So, And then, as always, I just put a spot of glue right on top of it just so those staples are even more secure. So I'm gonna take the pipe cleaner and I'm gonna slide it in between the twines of this. It's not really a grapevine, right? All right, so I'm getting this guy situated, cut off my tails there and then once again just because I don't want that shifting around and I don't want any accidentally any wires cutting into anything I'll put a spot of glue on there but now so watch now I'm going to place this about here I'm going to take our gingham and measure this out a little bit more than I need and I may actually change this up a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. Now I am going to actually take glue and glue these together. All right, so there is that side. Now, I'm gonna find my overlap back here and glue it together. So it's kind of secured in two different places. Let that set. While that is setting, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our gingham and we're gonna make a nice little bow, right? All right, so I'm doing five loops, but each loop I went down a little bit on size and I'm doing a little bit of a tail here piece of wire and 
and I always have way too much wire, but you kind of learn that as you go along. You'd rather have too much than not enough because trying to... Okie dokie. All right, so now we have our bow and we're just going to kind of work it around. Okay, so looky there. Now that our glue is already, so we have our ribbon. Now because of that center frame, this isn't gonna set exact. So what I'm gonna do is kind of scrunch this together and I'm gonna use our bow to actually help hold it in place. And I know that my tails are kind of large, but that's okay. We'll take them back off here or we'll cut them back. Too much is better than not enough, right? Now, the only other thing is I am going to take the bottom of this and I'm going to take a piece of wire and we're going to loop it around there and secure the bottom of it as well. And then we're going to fix our bow and look at this in less than a half an hour in less than 30 minutes we have a really really cute can you imagine this with like lemons on it or um honeybees ladybugs watermelon i mean i could see this design in any of the summer or just the farmhouse so i wanted to go just kind of like a neutral farmhouse look but can you imagine how versatile this could be if you switched out either the ribbon or added some embellishments like i just talked about that would be so cute love it all right look at this oh it's crooked hang on there we go check that out so so stinking simple so easy this of course was done on our 16 by 14 frame however you can use whatever size frame that you prefer and just adjust the proportions as needed we of course would appreciate it if you follow us on facebook at festive creations by stephanie or follow our youtube channel at festive creations by stephanie Thanks you all and don't forget to craft, create, and design.